Hi, I'm Selma Benoen, and this is the pre-release for the March 2021 paper in Pseudocode. So as we saw from the last video, here is the completed task 3, okay, in Python code. So task 3 is basically task 1 plus a few lines to add some extra functionality of the mix test. And this was the output from our task 3. So let's divide task 3 into 4 parts to easily translate it to pseudocode. Part 1 in blue is the inputs and validating the mix test. Part 2 is if mix test is equal to no, produce you know, the questions and gather the answers and update the score if the answers are correct in this not mix test. Else means that the user has chosen a mix test, so mix up all the different tables, multiplication tables, and give questions according to the number of questions that the user input and update the score accordingly. Finally, part four is just printing the final score and a message. So let's look at the pseudocode for the first part, which is the inputs. You can simply put import random, print, type your name, input student name, print how many questions would you like, input num questions, print would you like a mixed test, yes or no, input mixed questions. Here's a validation. While mixed test is not equal to yes and mixed test is not equal to no, do. Print error. You need to choose yes or no to choose a mixed test and input mixed test and while. So this was part one, which is the inputs we need for task three. In purple, we're going to start to solve part two. So part two is if the user said no I don't want a mixed test so if mixed test equals no then print which multiplication table to practice from 2 to 12 input the multiplication table so input the value from let's say 3 while multiplication table is less than 2 or it's greater than 12 print error range check error choose a number from 2 to 12 input the multiplication table and while now we're ready for the for loop, which will generate the questions and update the score. For count is assigned from one to num questions. Num one equals multiplication table that they input. Num two is random dot choice of num array. And you can leave a comment with a double slash. Num two is a random value from num array, which is holding one to 12. Num array dot remove num two. This makes sure that we don't, you know, have repeated questions print the question num1 and sign the ampersand concatenates the x and num2 and the equal sign so this will produce the question input the answer if the answer is equal to num1 times num2 then score equals score plus one and if so we've completed the second part in the purple box I believe the rest of the pseudocode should be straightforward because the else part three is very similar to part two and in part four, you just have to have a print statement to show the score and just an if else, if then and if. So it should be a straightforward pseudocode. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.